हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टडी विद सौम्या सो गाइस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द लाइक बटन इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो सो गाइस एज योर टी सी एस एंड क्यूटी एंड विप्रो एन एल एग्जाम इज अप्रोचिंग एंड इन बोथ द एग्जाम कोडिंग इज एन असेंशियल सेक्शन राइट सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव मेड दिस वीडियो सो दैट यू कैन प्रैक्टिस योर कोडिंग सेक्शन राइट सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हैकर रैंक लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन using c++ right so let's see the question a discrete mathematics professor has a class of students frustrated with their lack of discipline the professor decides to cancel class if fewer than some number of students are present when class starts arrival times go on from on time arrival time less than equal to 0 to arrive late arrival time greater than 0 given the arrival time of each student and the threshold number of attendees determine if the class is cancelled so basically what is happening suppose a uh, n is given to you so n here is 4 so 4 is denoting the arrival times in the array so here you will be having four arrival times of the individual student right so if the value of arrival time is less than equal to 0 in that case it shows that the student is either on time or before time right and if the value is of arrival time is greater than 0 it shows that the student is late so the professor is decided that if the count of arrival times like if the students present in the array yeah, if the student present in the array um that are on time is less than the threshold values so here you can see that we are having one to these two values are negative it means that from four students two students are on time but the short value here is given 3 so uh, you can see that he is expecting that at least three students should be on time but here only two are on time so he will cancel the class right so you have to return yes yes is showing that class has been cancelled right uh, let's take the another input so here four is denoting again the number of arrival times and the short value given here is 2 so you can see here zero and minus one so these two students this is showing that two students are on time right so also the threshold value is also two so in that case class won't be cancelled so we have to return no so what a teacher is expecting that at least a student should be yeah so here he he is expecting that professor wants at least two students in attendance right so if there are three as well then also we have to return no but at least there should be as students as this uh, threshold value is given right so what we will do we will first iterate through all the elements of the given array and we will check that how many values of the array is less than or equal to 0 and if some value is less than or equal to 0 we will take a count variable and we will keep on incrementing the count and now in after coming out of the loop we will check if the count value is greater than or equal to threshold value that is 3 or that is 2 so if this is the case uh, we will simply return no right and otherwise we will simply return yes okay so let's implement this using c++ so first let's take a variable uh, c for counting the uh, number of students that are on time right uh, the loop will run up to the length of array right i plus plus so here we will check the condition that if a of i is less than equal to 0 so what we have to do we have to increment the value of count right now here we will check that if c greater than equal to k right in that case we have to return no else we have to return yes right so yeah so yeah we are good to go let's run our code to check yeah so it passed this test case let's submit the code to check whether it's working fine for all the test cases yes it is working fine okay guys so keep on practicing the coding questions even i will be putting coding questions right so make sure to subscribe my youtube channel also guys hacker rank and lead code are my personal favorite platform for coding so you can follow these platform and you can practice here thank you so much guys for watching this video bye bye